How's it going, Ghost Hunters? This is Sean with Gulf Coast and Beyond, and I'm reviewing the new Rook EMF meter from Ghost Stop. And I'm going to explain a little bit different difference between the two and show you uh, what the, the changes were. And first of all, the, well, the older one had kind of the plastic uh, tripod mount, so not, uh, not anymore. The new one, reinforced, reinforced tripod mount. And the guys from Ghost Stop are telling me that this is no, they're no longer 3D made, which I thought was kind of neat, but they're just regular, uh, regular manufactured now. But these guys are pretty sensitive. They, they are, um, depending on, I uh, had to experiment with some batteries. This is the, uh, I'm using the Sunbeam from Dollar Tree, the uh, 9 volts, that works. And I do have a rechargeable in one of these. But I'm going to show you, you power them up, the old one and the new one, pretty much the same. Not much different. And sometimes you can get a little stray reading. But these guys are real sensitive. You see a little bit of a stray, um, they're just sensitive. Now over here where the Alexa is, I'm going to put this up here. There's a lot of, a lot of uh, EMF coming over here. I'm going to show you. As it gets louder, as the signal gets stronger, it gets louder. This is kind of neat, especially in an investigation. If you're in a room or wherever you're at, and this thing just starts, the, the volume increases and it starts going, you've got something heavy around. But I'm going to show you. Let me just scream it like that. And that's how they work. So it's pretty cool. Also, the battery doors are a little different on the old one, which is kind of a pull down. Not too bad. Snaps back in. And on the new one, a little bit easier access. And there's the sunbeam in there. And these guys, like I said, they are sensitive. I use them both in investigations. I set them out there with my K2s and my millimeters, and they do fine. So, uh, like I said, I'm not a, I'm not affiliated with Go Stop in any way. I just happen to I've had this old one here for a long time, and the uh, the new one is like I said, they're not much different. This seems to be a darker black, but they're very very sensitive, and I I'm, I'm happy with them. I, I'll take them out in the field with me, with, them, with all the other gear too. And Go Stop makes a pretty good product. I've never had anything bad from that store. So that's my review on the Rook, the old and the new. Not much difference. A um, little sensitive. I mean, they're real sensitive, which is good. Because if you're in a location that, especially with no power and no, you're out in the middle of nowhere, turn your cell phones off, no, have no, nothing electronic around, this little guy starts lighting up like that, you got something big going on. Especially if it pegs out your K2s and pegs out the Rook and everything. So that's my review. Happy hunting. We'll talk to you soon. Gulf Coast and beyond. I'm out. I wanted to add also, these cool little pouches come with it. They just fit right in. So you can take them. Take them on the road. Put them on your belt clip. And got one with the other one too. And a Sunbeam battery, Dollar Tree, they work well. I think you'll be happy.